Compact Advanced Students Book by Peter May, published by Cambridge University Press and Cambridge English Language Assessment, 2014. This recording is copyright. CD One. Unit Two, Speaking Part Two, Exercises Three and Four. Louisa, it's your turn first. Here are your pictures. They show people with presents in different situations. Compare two of the pictures and say what significance the presents might have for the people and how they might be feeling. Okay.、Um, in this picture, there's quite a lot of people at what looks like a wedding, or maybe it's after the ceremony itself because of、um, the. Way the couple are dressed, and there's a lot of presents for them on the table, still wrapped in paper. In this one, on the other hand, there is a child opening a present at a party and looking very happy. It could be a toy that she's asked her parents for, or perhaps she just likes surprises, because the present seems a lot more important to her than to the couple, who at the moment are probably thinking about other things, like their future together, starting with their honeymoon. <laughs> the little girl is obviously feeling much more excited than the couple about the present, but they're enjoying the occasion, and later they will have time to see the gifts their relatives and friends have given them. Perhaps nice things for their new home, and that will make them happy too. Emilia, who do you think has given the most thought to their choice of present?、Mm, well,、uh, it's likely the people at the wedding chose something from a list they were given of possible presents, so they probably thought a bit less about what to buy than the parents of the little girl. Unless, of course, she told them what to get.、Um, I think that would be quite unusual for a girl of that age.